Hi, scientists. I'm Reggie from the California Science Center, and I'm here to help you feel a little less stuck at home. So this week, we've been talking about our big lab and the different science experiments we're doing there. So instead of me telling you about it, let me actually take you there now. Oh, man. I kept losing my head, didn't I? All right. So as you can see behind me is our drop tower that we have in our big lab. And here is where we test gravity, right? So that's one of the forces that we have here on Earth that is continuously pushing down on us. And if you've ever seen someone do bungee jumping, um, you've seen them actually use gravity to their advantage. So let's actually test this at home since you guys can't be here with us at the big lab. Let's try it at home. Nice. All right. So we're back in my house. So before we get started with our project today, scientists, I'm going to go ahead and let you know what we need. So what you're going to need is some objects. So I'm going to be using some toy cars today. And then you're also going to be using some rubber bands. Now, I've already made a bungee right here. And if you look at my bungee, you can see the rubber bands. They're all connected, but they're also like really relaxed, right? So nothing's really happening to them or anything. But what I'm going to do is if I pull on the rubber band, right, it extends far. And if you hear that sound, you can kind of hear what we call the tension in the rubber bands, okay? So that's putting a little stress on the rubber band there. And we're actually going to be using that force to help our bungee work today, okay? So what we're going to do now is I've already attached everything and built my bungee, so let's test it out. So I want to stand up for this portion. All right, everybody, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your rubber band and your object at the same height when you're dropping it. And then you're gonna go ahead and let's drop it for our first test. So three, two, one. Okay, scientists, as you can see, my car kind of started flying everywhere, but let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it again and see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna drop it one more time. Three, two, one. All right, so what's happening is, is the two forces that are affecting uh, the car and the rubber band are tension and gravity. So while gravity is pulling the car down to the center of the earth, tension is building in the rubber bands here, and it's actually helping the car go back up. So tension helps it bring it back up, gravity pulls it down, and that's why the object just doesn't stop falling but it continues to go backwards and forwards, okay? So when you're doing the sciences, make sure to have an adult near you so, um, so these projects can be a little bit more safer for you. As you can see, my car was kind of flying all over the place, so you don't want to hurt yourself. But so what we want you to do now, scientists, is let us know how you're feeling and uh, being at home um, by using the hashtag stuck at home science. And you can do that on Facebook and Instagram. And I hope you're feeling a little less stuck at home. Bye, scientists. Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck-at-home science activities.